Now, as I get to say every week, you are oh. going away. We are staying right here. So we'll see you in the green. I have a question. Go for it. When you say we are going away, or we are staying here and you are going away to the green room, what exactly happens? That means I cut it off there with the teach. There's three parts I do to this, the short teaching, the, the regular teaching, and the after fellowship. I end the fellowship, the, the long fellowship, with you are going away. Okay. And then it chops off. So nobody is going to another website to pick up where the green no. is or anything? No, 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 no. Everybody oh. stays right here, but it seems like we go away the way I split it up at the end. I wondered about that too. It seems like, and we'll meet you in fellowship. <laughs> yeah. And here we are. <laughs> and here we are. I thought he was prophetically talking about the rapture. I kept waiting and waiting and waiting. <laughs> hey. Got to be ready for the big jump, babe. Yeah, if, if he wants to snatch us now, it's fine by me. Yeah. yeah right. I'm quickly, Lord Jesus. <laughs> my rubber band is attached to my feet. I'm ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> what was that song Ted Pearl used to do? Lord, I'm ready to go. <laughs> yeah. So. You, you mentioned in Revelations, uh, I think it was chapter seven verse 15 where the word temple is a poor translation yes referring to where god is referring to where they are but yes it's it's always used i'll, I'll bring that up don that's a, that's a great question and i'm going to expand on that in in future ones but this this word is i and i didn't get that far on the slide but this word that's actually used in there, it's the same one, here it is. Oh. Is this naos, is the Greek yeah. word. Yeah. And a lot of the translations has it translated as temple, but a better translation would be the sanctuary or the, it's here, I'll, I'll read it. And it's, it's 3485 Strongs. it's properly a sanctuary, dividing dwelling place, a temple, sacred abode the place divided divine manifestation takes place it's referred to the sanctuary in the jewish temple of just the two inner compartments or rooms uh, that's, that, that's what the, the consists of so it's not talking about the temple was you had the court of the gentiles you had the inner court you had the holiest of holies where the priests went and everything leading up to that then you had a whole city complex that was still considered part of the temple area that people would dwell in where things were being sold and bought and everything. But this particular word, this, uh, and I want to enunciate it right, this nail is specifically talking about that inter sanctuary, uh, which was very a very reserved place. So, okay. So uh, that's kind of what I got up when I got got when I looked it up uh, during your teaching, and so uh, I'm trying to think of this in so in terms of an Israelite, they would think of it as the uh, the innermost part of the temple where the high priest went and and. Uh, uh, got the blessing like uh, Zacharias did um, prior to the birth of John the Baptist that kind of thing there were certain, there were there, and, I, and I'm and I'm a little I need to investigate this more because the outer compartment where the bread is and the incense altar and the what's the name of that four, that seven the, the seven uh, candlesticks, the, the seven menorah, the menorah uh, that was kept lit. So there were tenants 
that tended to that outer place. It was only in the inner sanctuary that the high priest would go once a year. He would cleanse himself of his own sins and those of the uh, rest of the mm -hmm. Israelites uh, in the inner sanctuary. But the very fact that we're before the throne, that's what was in the inner sanctuary, the, uh, the uh, tabernacle, the, the uh, Ark of the Covenant. It had, and Paul, Paul does a really good job of explaining it in Hebrews to the best of his ability, but he's kind of cool too because he explains it like one that's never been in there. In other words, I don't think Paul was ever the high priest <laughs> because he explains it in a in a in a educated way, but never actually seen it. So mm -hmm. I, I think that's pretty interesting the way he explains it in Hebrews too. Uh, like but a the, learned person would explain something rather than someone who's actually done it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's interesting. So that's it, how an Israelite would think of it. So as as a person today might think of it, I'm thinking that it'd be like getting in the elevator, going up the elevator to the top floor, getting out of the elevator, and then going into the first room, which would be where the secretary would be, and then getting past her to the inner office. Yes. Or the living room, so to speak, of God. Yeah. And one thing I, I probably didn't emphasize that I should because I think it's a big mistake that we've been taught. He talks about that we go in there with boldness and confidence. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the translations and a lot of the innuendos that we've made up in our lifetime and other organizations too, is that we have this boldness before God. And that's just not true. It's the entrance into that room that we're bold we stay humble before god we're i mean humility is a big deal with god concerning his created beings because of the haughty pride that sin elevated creation to into thinking we're more or something that we're not to i think we really need to address that ideal of exactly what we are bold to do and what we are humble and our humility before the Lord, I think that helps in the reception and receiving from God. God doesn't like the Holy Spirit. He doesn't. It's, it's, you ain't very, God. Very much like the relationship between Joseph and Pharaoh. Joseph had access to Pharaoh, but he was still humble to Pharaoh. Is that correct? I think it's a good Yeah, Jesus, Jesus ain't God. He's given everything, but eventually he's going to turn it over to the Father, and the Father's going to accept it as as the prized possession and, and give it a new Jerusalem to put that accomplished task in. So, cool stuff. And just like he has access, we have the same access, but we're still humble. Yes, sir. I get it. That's good. Anyways, that was uh, when you said that in your teaching that word temple was kind of a bad translation. It just kind of got me started. <laughs> and I thought, well, let's see, okay. <laughs> I like the I like the one too about. Uh, where the period in the comma was put in there because that's yeah. a really huge deal. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the word and. And I'll tell you what, it shouldn't have been called the revelation of Jesus Christ. It should be called the book of ands because I've never seen so many ands in my life. And, 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 and. I mean, after you get past 12, it's like a slew of ands. And you have to read back in between chapters and everything else to get the context of where the where the context of all these joint ands start. It's pretty fun though. Maybe it should have been called uh, the book of Andy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, what's it got? Oh. Right. Yeah. There was a teaching I heard years ago and I, I'm not even sure it's true. 
but each of those chambers had a name. They were the way, the truth, and the life. Talking about the chambers in the holiest of holies, Don? Cha yeah, the chambers in the temple. They were called the way, the truth, and the life. Now, I don't know if that's true. I'm just throwing this out there. It might be a good subject for people who like Oriental customs and Oriental things. Hmm, who do I know who likes, really gets into those? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I'm looking for constructive criticism. Where you guys at? I need help. Oh, help. Well, hell, by the way, hello, Bob. You snuck in while we weren't looking. Howdy. How's everybody? We're doing Good. really well. Okay. Winter has come and gone. We went down to 32. The day before yesterday, and we're back up to 75 today. So, oh, winter came in. Sucks. <laughs> <laughs> we're glad they changed. Two for a day. What's yeah, that? that uh, snow. That's a once in every five day occurrence. And I mean, two inches of snow, too. <laughs> we were having snowball battles in Houston. Oh, that's awesome. Did snow in Houston yesterday? Yeah, yeah, and good snow too. The, I mean, the packing snow, that, the real <laughs> fine it's stuff. Soft, <laughs> and pure white. Yeah, you smack somebody it's upside the head, hurt. and it stinks, <laughs> but it doesn't kill them. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Huh. It's That's my kind of winter. <laughs> One day and back to spring. <laughs> yeah. 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 A little bit of snow and Christmas Eve, and that's it. Yeah. Well, Mike, like I was telling you earlier when we were going over this before, is this is something I'm going to have to sit down and really think about. Really, sure. that's try all. And work. I, I mean, I, like I, I said at the beginning, I wish somebody smarter than me would jump into this stuff because I, I really think that. Don't get me wrong. I think that. And, I, and I've, I've, inter, I've tried to iterate this past the past segments that there has been a, in our lifetime, we have seen so much done. I thank God every day for John Shane Height and uh, Werewolf and Bob with the research that they've done to magnify the hope, the sea. I love the sea. I love the fact that it disappears. And I, I mean, but, God really is. <laughs> but but I see such a gap and everybody's so afraid to jump into this really, really, really bad time period <laughs> as far as what we're doing. Where are we at? Are we, I mean, is it back to the heart thing? There's action going on. And I believe that we are a major part of that action, even if it's just in the prayer and praise all the way. And, and I'm going to go into this because I've got this thing worked forward. <laughs> All the way to the seventh trumpet, where it says uh, the mystery, the secret of God is finished. And that word finished is a, firm, a form of the word telos, a very unusual form of the word in usage of the word telos. It's only used two other times in that form in usage. And it shows a completion to a desired point um, and, and I want to take that there because because the people get confused they, they want to make that seventh trumpet the same trumpet that goes off in Thessalonians and I just don't believe that that's true I think it's more likely that the trumpet they call John is the trumpet in Thessalonians <laughs> by the way it's described hey come up here <laughs> did you picture it the first voice you hear from the Ruling angel of God. Hey, come up here. <laughs> well, that's a far cry from that still small voice, isn't it? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever happened to that? <laughs> harpazo is too. That word harpazo really it's not by anything that I mean your Paul was snatched away. It wasn't like he he meditated to a certain point of believing in his life and 
acquired the revelation. God snatched him and took him and showed him. John, John was taken up in the spirit. He, he, it, it doesn't use the same word. That word's more identified with Jesus's snatching. He was snatched away too. That's why it's kind of cool in um, the book of Acts when you're reading about his departure. Uh, he's still talking to them as he's as, <laughs> as he's being taken away. It's like he didn't want to go, almost in the context. Like he, he loved these guys so so much, and he he's trying to share as much of his heart as he can. But it's time to go, son. I mean, I picture you know some of those places I've been. I remember going kite flying with my dad when I was a little boy, and and it was time to go, and I and crying and being upset because I wanted to fly my kite, and I. Seeing that with Jesus when he was ascended, it's like, God, I really don't want to leave these guys. They're so cool. And we've been through so much together. So, but he didn't. So, anyways, just ideas. Just thoughts where my head is. I think it was Wassa, or somebody got me off on this tangent. I can't remember who it was. It was somebody said something about something in the book, and I got off. But I'm trying to still keep it centered around the idea of progressive revelation, which I am really into, uh, especially concerning the sacred secret, of which this is all part, uh, and how it unfolded uh, to these men and women and us. Life is a progressive revelation. I always like to hear about the throne of God and what surrounds it and who's there. It is pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. that's like, yeah. oh, beautiful. Yeah, it's cool. I could even do that because people say at times I talk too much and I could be just sitting there praising God all day long and not being called a babbler. That'd be pretty nice. <laughs> Did somebody say you talk too much? Yeah. Oh, honey, I don't think you talk too much. Yeah. I think Barbara talks too much. <laughs> yeah, Barbara, feel free to jump in here. My husband says the same thing sometimes. <laughs> right. Anyways, I'm having fun. But I am looking, I mean, if you guys review this stuff or look back on it, please, 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 I'm looking for criticism in order. I'm, I'm, I got really thick skin. You're not going to hurt me. God knows I want to I wanna be right more than I... I want, it, I want it to be right more than I want to be stuck on a subject I'm wrong in. I, I tried for years and years and years before I found out it was supposed to be a bunch of sharing. <laughs> Wait, we were looking at this, what, what year was that? that uh, a couple years ago? That was with Wolf, those papers that were being passed around you're talking about, Barb? Yeah, and you sent us a, a, a some kind of diagram with arrows and lines and comments yeah. on Google Docs about the book of Revelation, where we were going to be at. Yes. And we all, I think, maybe concluded that, well, because we'll be with Jesus, uh, we're there somewhere we're doing something. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. When was that? I was, I mean, it was when Bob first got the, uh, research team together it was very early on with the research team that's it yeah and i can't remember where the paper ended up see if I you can it. dig it up see if you can dig it up michael yeah i have all i have everybody set up i've got all don stuff that he's given me uh, don Culp and his book and your stuff bob and barbara your papers i, I keep i'm trying to get an archive Just <laughs> you too okay yeah yeah Computer makes it so cool. You know, I had a I had a whole slew of stuff, and we were flooded, and I and it was all in paper form, and I and I mean it broke my heart some of the stuff I lost, uh, and some of the junk that was left that I didn't lose that I wish would have floated away in the damn flood. <laughs> but, <clears throat> but, uh, but now this computer thing makes it really really cool. Yeah, I have a folder on my computer and it's titled Bible Research and you open it up and it's broken down into other 
various categories from everything from the new man in Christ, which is my blog series and sort of what I call our fellowships here on Monday night. Um, all right, I got to show mine. You, you're popping off here. I got to show you mine. Okay. This is, this is the way I've got things organized. I've got a section under my documents. It's under Bible. Now, Bible covers a lot of things. There's research and teaching and elders and all that. Stuff. Uh, but under teachings, I've got all the teachings that I have on some form or another. And from who I got them from, and uh, basically names of people, and FF Bruce is in there, Don, you're in there, Culp's in there, all, everybody I know. But my section that I'm working on is called A Work in Progress. And under that work in progress, I have all the subject matters that I'm working under that work of which the primary heading is. Uh, That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, uh, it works for me anyways. But then there's subcategories. You get to the manifestations and the progressive revelation, there's a lot of subcategories uh, through those two because that's where everything winds up falling anyways. I love my geek. I love, yeah, Dana loves her geek. Manifestations, I've got manifestations on manifestations on manifestations on manifestations. <laughs> <coughs> I love the subject. But that's the way I've been doing it. Work in progress. Nothing's finished. Mm -hmm. Nothing's finished till the Lord comes back. And then there's at least a thousand years of work to do. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if I'm right, a thousand plus seven, because there's some free limb stuff that we got to get in shape before the thousand year come rolling in. Okay, well, since you did yours, since you showed me yours, I'll show you mine. This is the folder. Um, what's the folder's name again? I think it's just called Dad. Yeah, Dad. And that's pictures. There's a mixed bag in here. That's pictures. This is when we were teaching Galatians, you may remember. Yes. And that's everything from that section. Um, those two are pictures. This one is great. Poems. I love that. This was a seminar, um, that, uh, this guy named Nick Ken Katana did. Um, uh, it's all about, um, the operation of the spirit. And, uh, He's got, you know, he's got some stuff right on, a lot of stuff right on. Uh, and the new man in Christ, this is just about every teaching I've ever done. Uh, you've got that site on, uh, that was, uh, God, that God site. What, what is that called? God? Uh, where you're actually called, your, your identification is the new man in Christ. It's the, uh. Oh, the blog? No, not yeah, the blog too, but that site that you download the teachings on besides uh, YouTube. Oh, GodTube. GodTube. Yeah, GodTube. That's a cool mm -hmm. site if none of you have ever been there. Yeah. It's a site that's very, very focused on Christians. And any teaching that you've made, Bob, you might be interested in this besides YouTube. That GodTube is a very focused group. And, uh, People are actually there to, it's not uh, diluted with all the other stuff that's on YouTube. It's it's very uh, Christian in nature, God tube, as far as downloading your teachings and stuff. Oh, okay. Is it easy? How, how do you download things to that one? You set up an account. Um, you have to give them an email address, a title for your... Uh, bought your videos uh, to fit under and uh, then you uh, let me see if I can show you one and can you can you um, like with YouTube can you download videos from God too yes you, you can yeah do you have to have a special program for yeah. that 
to do for that one, you can't take it off their site like you can. But even YouTube, when you download, you're downloading it to your YouTube account. It's not actually to your computer, but there is a program that allows you to download it to your computer. Yeah. Too. Right. Yeah. That's how we all get these, you know, like when we play a, uh, you know, John plays a uh, video of a, a song. That's where we all get them from. It's from YouTube. Oh, okay. Let's see here. Yeah, I, I use the uh, YouTube downloader. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, you are, all that, that'll, that'll, uh, there, there's one that's, I don't think, I don't know if it's listed as YouTube downloader, but there's one that's more versatile than that, that you can use on a lot of other things besides YouTube. Uh, oh. That it, all you need is the URL, the URL. Yeah. That might be the oh. download that does that too. It'll do more than just YouTube. So YouTube downloader is specific too. You know what, Barb? I, I might be mistaken. It might be the YouTube downloader I do that with too. As long as you have the URL, you can download it onto that program because that's what it's actually copying. Okay. So when you hit a right right mouse click and you uh, uh, copy the URL, it, it goes into that YouTube downloader and then it downloads it to your computer. And then you can put it from there into a program you might have in your computer. I've got one that's called Video Maker and, and I can, I think that's where I put it a couple years ago in Video Maker, I think. And you can you can shorten the video and, and put it in a PowerPoint. Yes, yes. Very cool stuff. Okay. Well, I'm going to stay on this subject, Don, until we get to the new heaven and earth. <laughs> That's a long time. That's a long And you don't know that might be tonight. Oh, no, it has to be at least seven years, right? Or no, a thousand seven years. <laughs> Uh-oh. Looks like Don just left us. Did we lose him? Whoops. Maybe. Well, I would I say good night too. night anyways. I have a three o'clock date with the alarm clock. Oh boy. Thanks, Michael. I love you guys. And seriously, uh, I'm, I'm really looking for input. I mean, it's supposed to be the body of Christ. It's supposed to be all of us figuring this stuff out. So I'm really humbled to any input you have uh, to make the presentation better. Uh, it's not what it is now. Hopefully it won't be that several years from now. It'll be more concise and more together. More better, -er. more better. -er. I like that word, better. -er. Better. -er. <laughs> Hello, I fell out. You <laughs> fell out. You know, did you fall off your chair? <laughs> <laughs> I pushed the wrong button. I'm known for doing that. Connection <laughs> button. <laughs> my on-off button is so close to my delete button on my laptop that happens. That's a bad thing. <laughs> off goes the computer. All right, love you guys. See you next week, hopefully. Uh, okay, Today is Elizabeth's birthday. If anybody wants to give her a shout out, Elizabeth Lynn's birthday. So, yeah, when is it? Uh, today. 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 Uh, okay, so we're agreed. Christmas, no, no, nothing. New Year's will go, right? Yes. Okay. And Barbara, if you're interested in teaching, you can do a five-minute one. Let me think about that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you for sending for invite an invite. And uh, keep keep me in there, please. Sure. Love having you. Oh, good. I, I like being here with you okay. guys. Okay. Good, good night, everybody. Good we're, night. We're, we're taking off.